realize it's a fierce fighter. I can't end tonight without briefly touching on the last three years. Every year I've known her have been special, but these last three have been truly something. She is strong and tenacious and completely unstoppable. Woo! Um, so that brings us to Greg. Who can fit the bill for someone as special as Eliza? It's a question I've asked myself a lot over the last few years and one that really wasn't answered until I met Greg. He is all of these things and yet completely different. And when you're with them, you just see how well they work. Plus he makes a mean margarita. <laughs> Greg, I am so thankful to be standing up here tonight and knowing with complete confidence that you're the one we prayed for. So tonight, I am very thankful and honored to be finally formally introducing our fourth Harrison sister. <laughs> Cheers to Eliza and Greg. Stories of hope, cancer patients battling COVID and winning, and my next guest knows all about that. Eliza Paris is with me now. Eliza, nice to meet you. Welcome. Thank you so much for having me. I am so happy to see that you're on the other side of COVID. I know you have stage four appendix cancer. You were diagnosed at age 25, so that was two years ago. Uh, and then as you were seeking treatment, you got sick with COVID. How tough was that fight for you? It was a very tough fight. Um, you know, I thought I'd been through everything that could be thrown at me with cancer and then COVID came in and it's just a whole nother battle. Eliza Paris got to ring the I Survived Cancer Gong at one of the nation's premier cancer hospitals, Memorial Sloan Kettering in New York City. Her cancer was a thing of the past, but within a year, devastating news. The cancer was back and so was the chemo. Just when it seemed things couldn't get much worse, another curveball. I thought I tackled everything I could have tackled in my lifetime and then comes a pandemic where I live in New York City in the epicenter. Her chemo stopped. The virus too much of a threat to her already compromised immune system. So she left her job on Wall Street oh and headed God. home to her parents <laughs> in Atlanta. When oh the unthinkable God. happened, yeah, Eliza gorgeous. got COVID-19. Her system crashed and she spent eight days oh. near death in the ICU. <laughs> But once again, Eliza survived. Everything else may have come to a halt during the pandemic, but cancer did not take a holiday. Hi, Greg. Take you, Eliza. Hi, Greg. Take you, Lizzie. <laughs> To be my lawfully wedded wife. To be my lawfully wedded wife. I promise to be by your side, for better or worse, for richer or poorer, in sickness and in health. I promise to love you. I promise to love you. To honor you. To honor you. And to share my life with you. And to share my life with you. I vow to cherish you exactly as you are and never take what we have for granted. My love and devotion are yours until the end of my days. Hi, Lizzie. Take you, Crackles. <laughs> To be my lawfully wedded husband. To be my lawfully wedded husband. I promise. To be by your side. To be by your side. For better or worse. For better or worse. For richer or poor. For richer or poor. In sickness and in health. Sickness and in health. I gotta cherish you. Exactly as you are. <laughs> and never take what we have for granted. And never take what we have for granted. Where you go, I will go. Where you go, I will go. Where you stay, I will stay. Where you stay, I will stay. Your people will be my people. Your people will be my people. Your God, my God. Your God, my God. I now pronounce you husband and wife. I always Greg, dreamed that someday I could be here. <laughs>
what I know. Greg is kind, respectful, caring, loving, and patient. Not only to Eliza, but to all of our family and all of our friends, all of you. Thank you, Greg. We all love you, and we're so blessed to have you in our family. Eliza, nothing can compare to the joy I felt when I walked you down the aisle tonight. Your mom, Thomas, and I are so blessed for having you in our life. You're beautiful, loving, kind, gracious, smart, generous, and oh, so very strong. You're truly a gift from God. You're my sweet pea, and I love you so much.